Hello, my name is Hayes Dunn, and I'm a junior at St. Joseph High School in Santa Maria, California. As you know, distracted driving is the number one killer of teens in America. Even more shocking is the fact that the number of deaths caused by distracted driving outnumbers deaths caused by murder, disease, and drugs combined. Yes, a totally preventable action is a leading cause of death for teens. What it comes down to is personal responsibility. This responsibility is taken lightly by teenagers. We think that bad things can't happen to us. They only happen to those people on TV. We believe we are above that. What we need to realize is we are not. In July 2009, St. Joseph was hit with tragedy. Eric Ogerblom, a graduate of the class of 2008, was killed by a distracted driver while riding his bike in Santa Maria. This tragic event brought the problem of distracted driving home for the students of St. Joe's. As a close friend to the Okerblom family, I was asked to portray Eric in a video that would highlight the events leading up to the crash and the crash itself. This video would then be shown to local high schools with the intention of preventing another tragedy like this from happening. I see pictures of us or of me even and I realize I'll never be that happy again. And I feel like when people say that he's in a better place or, you know, God had some reason for for this, it's making light of the fact that some girl hit him with her truck and he died. In April 2011, during Trust Week, this video was shown to the entire St. Joseph High School population, numbering around 550 students. After viewing the video, the students also took part in activities that stressed just how dangerous distracted driving really is. After these presentations, students were given the option to sign a paper at the back of the room, pledging to not drive while distracted. Soon after, the paper was filled with approximately 250 names of students. These students had received and understood the message about dangers of distracted driving, and were now willing to do their part to ensure the safety of others. St. Joseph is not the only place where this video has been shown. There have also been presentations at local Rotary Clubs. The next step is to spread this video an extremely important message about distracted driving to schools throughout the Rotary District, which spans about 200 square miles. We intend to spread the message even further, hoping this tragic story of Eric touches other teen drivers the way it has touched the student population at St. Joe's. So please, next time you get in the car, Put your cell phone on silent and don't touch it until you arrive at your destination. Driving by itself is a hard enough task, especially with all the distractions that come with today's culture, like phones, iPods, and other electronic devices that may impair your driving. When you get into a car, the safety of countless others, whether they may be in your own car or on the road, is placed in your hands.